everybody. I needed to film a short intro to this video to give you a little information and to let you know these videos will probably be a little bit different at first. Um, I was gonna take a week. I was gonna take a week off after uh, Cleo and her family left, but um, they left, and about forty-eight hours later, I got a phone call. And they had raided, the police had raided um, an area. Uh, it's not really a compound, but it was quite a big area. And there were cats. And when I say there were cats, there were cats. Um, to date, and this has been after about a week, I've had um, ev the, everyone for about a week, they have got they have caught over 50 um as of right now um there were lots of medical issues and se uh, several didn't make it but most of them did and uh the, it, no one had the resources for this um no one was prepared so after the phone call i went down to the intake area i was not allowed on the property or, or anything like that it has to do with um, liability but I went down to intake as they started bringing um, cats and kittens in and there's a whole process they go through on intake um, but I don't have the medical knowledge yet I'm trying to learn but I can't take care of anyone here that has um, high medical needs. So I was going to bring, they found four kittens that, and they couldn't find the mom. So I was going to bring them here and bottle feed them, which I was actually really nervous about because they, they were old enough to where they only had to eat like every four hours, but you know my life. Well there, and then at the very end, um, they brought in a mom and her babies and mama is feral mom is not horrible feral like but she is feral and of course nobody wanted to take her they were just going to keep her at the rescue with the babies but i, I wasn't having that so we now have a mom and her babies and you'll see in the video i was just to let you know at the very beginning of this video i was very stressed and i was very overwhelmed because we had done an intake of probably around 30 cats and kittens that morning um and it was horrible they they had bites and scratches and several of them had cysts and fleas and it was terrible it was probably the worst thing in person that I had ever seen. So I didn't give a bunch of, <laughs> I was very overwhelmed and I didn't give a bunch of information and I can't give a bunch of information about certain things because um, it's an ongoing investigation and, and that kind of thing. I can, you know, talk about the cats, but that's it. Uh, we, the reason it may be a little bit different on filming is because mom is feral and I can't touch her without gloves. And even then, she fights me. Uh, but I have used, um, you know, I have videoed what I could. Used the nanny cam when I can. Um, and the babies, especially now, they're just so small. We're not sure exactly how old they are. The vet, when he looked everyone over, said he thought they were only a day or two old. But there were so many intakes and we were trying to, you know, find them places. And I think they're a little bit older than that. I think they are like, they, when I picked them up, were about five, four or five days old. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter how old they are. But they're very tiny and um, they are with mom most of the time. Uh, and, and that'll change, you know, as we progress because my goal is to socialize mama so she does not have to go back outside because generally that's what they do in rescue when they catch a feral mom, 
with her babies. They will put her with the babies in either a room or a cage and uh, until the babies are old enough to be weaned. Now, once the babies are weaned, they put mom, you know, they spay her and then they put her back outside. But that's what I'm trying to stop. And that's why, you know, I wanted her here. Now, I can't promise that I will be successful. It's more work than I thought. Um, but I'm going to do everything I can to where she does not have to go back outside. I want her to be socialized enough to where she can go into a household, not in a barn and not outside, um, on her own. So that's what these videos, especially at first, are going to be like because it will be more me trying to work with mom, um, but I can't film that as much because she's in the dark. So I'm not sure what they're going to look like in the beginning. Now, once they move, start moving around, they'll be just like any kitten videos. Um, but at the beginning, they may not be as fun. I just wanted to let everyone know. And really, all I want at the end of this set of this family is for Mama to be able to go to a home and her babies to be socialized and go to a home. So that's going to be my main goals for this set or series, I guess you would say. I don't know a lot yet because I've actually not even seen the babies. They would not let me go into the area that mama and babies were in. So when I pull them out, it will be us seeing them for the first time. I don't even actually know how many there are because it was crazy. Um, I went this morning to help most... What you do is when you bring them in and you intake them, you have to like do medical processing and then you have to do like decontamination because they all have fleas, yada, yada, yada. Well, I wasn't there when they did the raid or the pull out or any of that stuff because when they did the raid, they didn't even know the cats were in there. They called the um, rescue. And... So, this morning I went because they needed help with the sorting and uh, decontamination and everything like that. But, mom and her kittens have to have some kind of care. And we're not even exactly sure if she is going to, if, if she is fine. She looks fine to me, but she's, she's semi-feral, so you can't actually touch her yet. Now, she doesn't, like, attack you, but she's very, very, very frightened. And if you get too close to her, she will, like, bite and hiss and scratch. So, we haven't actually, like, the vet looked her over, of course. But they just do, it, with all the stuff that was going on, I want to get her out and get her comfortable. And, you know, do another check of her. Um, but I don't even know how many, I don't know. I have the paperwork. I just haven't looked at it because I'll look at it all when I get in there. But I set up the thing. I don't want to put a box in there yet, uh, for her to hide in because I, um, want to see just how, if she is actually feral or semi-feral or if she's just scared. You know, a lot has happened to her in the last 24 hours. And um, it may just be that she's scared. We don't know yet. So I don't want to put a box in there. I do have it all set up to where if she is an escape artist, I can put this down and zip her in. But I really don't want to do that. I'm hoping that once the babies are in there, she'll stay in there. She has food here. She has water here and water there. And the litter box is down there. So now I'm going to try to get her out. Hello, sweet one. Hello. Look. You want to go in there? There's food in there. Do you want to go in there?
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Mom went in there. She just walked in there. Um, I had to get my gloves, and while I was getting my gloves, she just walked in there. Look at this. There are five babies. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. It looks like he's all... Here you go. And there's an, oh, this one, this one is going to be a tuxedo kitten. Look at that, it's a tuxedo. Oh, yeah, move around. There, see, I want them to start crying. And I know that sounds bad, but you want to because you want to check their lungs. Ooh. Okay, it's all right, Mama. And this one has brown coloring in there. And black. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Come on. Come on. I want you to start screaming for me. Oh. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. I think it's a girl. I mean, they're they're clamping on to me. But I want you to make noise. I need to hear your lungs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see, but there's a, there's different colors in there. So I'm not just black like the other two. Well, black or white. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Let me see if I can get the other one. Okay, let's see. Oh, you look like you have a couple colors in you, too. Come on. There. Okay. And let's, the last one. Oh, goodness. The last one is going to have some light colors on the feet, too. Oh, honey, come on. Come on. Here. Oh, this one is really skinny. Come on. Grip a hold. Come on. Oh, it's, look, it's got a stripe down its face, but it's not very. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah. Here. Thank you. It wasn't trying to grab, hold, or holler. It made me nervous. Oh, okay. I'm going to put them with mom now. Oh. Okay, I put the babies over there, and Mom is hide. Oh, she popped right out. Is hiding behind the bed. So I'm gonna let them relax for a little bit, cause I I really think there's something wrong with Mama's eye. She keeps closing, it and she's got a bunch, a bunch of scratches on her nose. She's missing fur. I'm gonna leave them now to get all straightened out. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to catch her and put her in here with the babies because it's been a little over an hour and she is all the way in between the beds where the headboard is in between the wall and no amount of coaxing, treats, food, nothing will make her come out. And I know she's scared, so... I think I'm just going to have to zip her in for a little while because the babies are going to have to eat. They're too little to be without mom for more than an hour. Okay, now she is at least semi-feral, if not feral, because I went to get her and pick her up, and she did attack me. Now, I'm wearing leather gloves. Um, I always have a good thick pair and so she did get the gloves but now she's in the sewing machine cabinet and I don't know how because she's not small I mean 
she's a good weight now she's petite but she's a good weight she's not um starving like Cleo was and she is at least a medium haired cat she's very beautiful um so I'm gonna have to get her out of there okay I finally got her in there she's laying in one of the brown beds now you know I it was difficult it was difficult to get her in here even when I did scruff her she still uh, fought me a little bit and I didn't want to hurt her so I let her go and I had to block off all the entrances and like open everything and left the only thing she could go in is there and so I kind of chased her in there and then I put the litter box in there she has food and water and the babies in there and I covered it entirely except here because she is very agitated and if you even try to put your hand near her she goes after it and she spits and hisses so I'm going to leave her alone and I put the nanny cam in there and just keep track of her with the nanny cam because I'm really wanting her to feed the babies uh, soon okay mom is finally feeding her babies but they're all off the blanket it's it's really warm in here though so that shouldn't be that big a deal but she won't let me get anywhere close to her and i had to move the food over here because she won't eat she still has not eaten anything and she's not used the litter box at all and it is 12 at night so it's midnight she's been here for 12 hours and has not eaten or drank anything or use the litter box